Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. Uh, what is good, YouTube? Your boy Mel Nicholson coming back with another quick video today. I got James Harden Volume Eight Pioneers on the Mel Nicholson channel. Wanted to talk briefly about this shoe because it's one of the shoes that I was kind of intrigued by, based off what a lot of people were saying. I will say that before I get into the actual review, uh, because of the design much like volume sevens for james harden ventilation seems to be the only problem that i could actually read about when people were saying what the cons were to this shoe because there's a lot of positives to this it was that and the fact that when you put on the volume eight what you're going to notice is if you have long feet with these shoes you may need to try it out prior to actually buying the shoe because there are some cases where you may need to size down at least a half size and i know that sounds weird but different shoemakers tend to have different designs that impact different types of people. So people with wide feet, you may have to go a half size up. People with long feet, you may have to go a half size down. Again, not everybody has the same type of foot structure. So you may want to take that in consideration before purchasing the James Harden Volume 8 Pioneers. With that said and done, let's get straight into it, man. You can see right here, and of course... Shout out to Adidas, man, because this came out, I want to say Thursday, actually not Thursday, Friday, like around, I want to say two o'clock in the morning, actually three o'clock in the morning, Easter is when I picked it up and ordered it. And I felt like Adidas was on top of their game. They had it shipped here as fast as possible. I did not even ask for express delivery, but they had it here quick. So again, shout out to Adidas. Now, James Harder, for those that don't know, went to Artesia High School in Lakewood, California, he wears the number 13, which is why you see him representing that number in the NBA today. The man is straight baller. His IQ is very, very high. But in terms of his game, people want to wonder, hey, when it comes to your shoes, what do you expect out of the shoe in order to perform the way you do? Of course, James Hart is known to do a lot of euros, a lot of cuts, things of that nature. So he's looking for a shoe that helps to conform to his foot. And I think that this is probably one of the best designs that he has so far in his signature shoe lineup, at least with Adidas. That said and done, man, let's get into the shoe. And of course, the shoe itself, the Pioneer, the color theme is based off his high school. So when you see red, white, and black, don't think it's like a bread colorway. It's literally just paying homage to his high school. And I will say this, before the shoe release, he did donate a lot of shoes to his high school. You can see pictures right here. Dope gesture from James Harden. That's uh, done, man. Let's get straight to it. Your normal plastic looks like sort of wax paperish uh, with the Adidas logo on it. But man, I got to get into this shoe, man. I am excited to get these bad boys on the Milk Nificent channel. Let me take this out real quick. It's got like a hoagie style type of setup. Man. Take this out here. Drop the box. And let's get into it, man. Of course does come with that adidas tag much like you would see with yeezys and of course i'm gonna what i'm gonna do actually i'm just gonna take out a lot of this stuff to kind of get it out the way because this is all paper stuff you know for the insole to keep the the shoe itself like upright i'm gonna get into that in just a moment so let me just let's just this is out the bag i just want to take this out and just get this over with <laughs> so all right so we got all that stuff out the paperwork and you can see right here but like, this shoe it has Sort of similarities to the volume seven. Only difference is they did do a slight change with the cage, and I'll get to that momentarily. Of course, when you look at the toe box, you can see right here, like to me, this material is is this leather kind of material is similar to what they did with the volume seven because there are similarities with the shoe. In terms of the cage, before we get into the cage, let's talk about the whole neoprene, and you're gonna see actually. I want to show you a picture. I want to show you a picture of the construction and the build and the different layers that it takes to construct the shoe. And then we kind of go from there. So if you're looking at the top, you can see that this has what's called like a neoprene boot, right? It's a neoprene boot with cuff like materials that makes it easy for your foot to slide in. And this neoprene boot wraps around your foot. Now to avoid your foot from shifting left and right. You got to understand that because this is kind of like, this has a lot of flexibility towards it. 
as soon as you stick your foot into the actual shoe, you're going to notice that this conforms to the shoe and it makes for a great comfort. There's also additional padding towards the heel of the shoe that's kind of attached to, I want to say, the actual cage itself. So you have like a, like this molded shell that you're looking at right here. And this is called the Teardrop EVA cage where the actual cage wraps around the foot. And this is what helps to your basically like you want to this what helps I should say with the your lateral movement. So when you're going back and forth, you're doing your cuts, the cage is actually keeping the actual neoprene boot in place. And I felt like this part of design towards the heel where they wrapped kind of like the rubber style material helps to keep your foot down. Like there's more weight towards the heel than the actual midfoot of your foot, if that makes sense. And the reason why you want that is to help with your, your, your kind of your, your ankle kind of rolling. Because in other words, if this shoe was predominantly balanced in terms of weight, you you could run that risk of rolling, but because the weight structure towards your heel, most of your weight when you, for most people when you're kind of playing basketball, you want heel support. That's why if you fill this shoe, most of the weight goes towards the heel, which I think is dope. So part of that cage system, which I thought is is it's intriguing, it's intriguing. I didn't expect Adidas to go in this direction because a lot of people were saying, well. It could be cracking towards the actual cage when you wear it over time, right? And I can already see that. But at the same time, I felt like it's not going to be as much as you would probably see. I can see pressure points when you're kind of going up and down and, and doing your, your lateral movements. But at the same time, the cage itself will definitely stay in place. And of course, you got that flat style lace system. Um, and then you go down to the whole full length jet boost now this is where i was intrigued about this because i wanted to see if it was more comfortable than your ultra boost or your easy boost uh what i've noticed when i tried this on is that you're going to it's going to take some time for you to actually get used to the comfort because it's a different style of comfort this is kind of like a, it's not a lifestyle shoe like a yeezy or a running shoe like an ultra boost this is a basketball shoe so you need some type of durability towards the bottom of the foot in addition to the ultra boost which you can see right here and it goes pretty much around the actual shoe. The Ultra Boost is actually exposed towards the bottom in what they call the multi-directional traction pad. Now, it's really called multi-directional JH for James Harden because you'll see that on the bottom, you'll see a bunch of H's, but you'll also see backwards J's. So hence why you see James Harden or the JH's on the actual traction of the shoe. And of course, you do have kind of a combination of a circular uh, let me say circular out, outing as well as the whole herringbone traction which in my opinion because you want this circular movement towards the pressure points of your foot so that when you're planting your foot on the court it you're not sliding all over the place but from what I did read that uh, this does collect a lot of dust at times so you'll see yourself kind of like rubbing it every so often when you're playing outside of that man I felt like this shoe overall when I had time to actually put it on it feels real good. I feel like this is a very underrated basketball shoe. I felt like this is probably, in my opinion, the best new basketball shoe of 2023 uh, in terms of a signature shoe. Of course, you got Ants doing his own thing. And, of course, I'm talking about Anthony Edwards. Um, Dame, Dame Dallas also signed with Adidas. And you can see that they Adidas has taken a different direction when they do the construction of the shoes compared to what they did in the past. You can see more tech and more engineering um, capability is being done with these shoes as they're being produced comment below let me know what you think of james harden volume eight man i just <laughs> it's just this to me is like it's like futuristic i know a lot of people may or may not like the design but i feel like certain colorways will make this pop more i wanted to do this one just because he's paying homage to his high school and for those that don't know he also did this for i want to say it was the james harden volume one where he kind of did the same James Harden Volume 1 uh, Pioneers that had like a similar colorway approach to the Volume 8, if that makes sense. So comment below, let me know what you think about James Harden's signature suit, Volume 8. And of course, I forgot to say, on the heel tab, or at least the pull tab, you do see James Harden's logo that sits right there. And he also has his signature on the insole, you can see right there as well. Uh, but 
I got to say, man, I am really, really excited to have this in the lineup. Actually, I, I, you know what? I plan on wearing this for a casual and basketball, if that makes sense. Because I just want to try to see what happens over time. And then I'll actually keep people posted in terms of a video of how I felt like, how did this kind of hold up over time when I'm doing a little bit of both? And is the shoe worth it? For the price point and the technology, definitely, definitely worth it. But your boy, Magnificent Man, James Harden, Volume 8, Pioneers, comment below. Again, let me know what you think about the shoe and its construction. I do know that these are the different colorways that should be coming out um, in different dates. Outside of these colorways, I'm not sure if they're going to produce more. Could be as a possibility, for, but, but for right now, these are the colorways that should be coming out momentarily. Boy, Mo Nipson, man. I am out. James Harden, Volume 8, Pioneers. Let's do that on feet. And you guys, stay blessed. Thank you.